Hi, I'm John Russo from Progressive Scale. What we're about to show you is our latest and greatest scale. It's the UAS 4000. We have this uh, scale in quite a few installations. Uh, we have them standalone in some facilities. We also have them networked in others. We have a company that has many of them. They have uh, scales in Connecticut here. We have them in uh, Texas. We have them in Mexico, and we also have them in China. They have internal Ethernet cards inside these scales, and they're all networked back to Connecticut, so we can watch every transaction that's occurring uh, simultaneously anywhere in the world. Uh, we can also make changes to the system, if need be, uh, from here in Connecticut to any of the scales anywhere in the world. We also have uh, a client that has them connected wirelessly. They have 30 of these systems, all connected back to a, an Oracle database, and they're working very well there. Um, what I'm going to do now is actually show you, how, show you exactly how this unit works and how we set it up initially. What I'm going to do is set it up this first time with uh, four database fields in addition to the part number, so it's a total of five. That'll be stored in the database inside the scale. It, with uh, expanded memory, we can store, depending on the length of the data, six or 7,000 part numbers. Um, we also have, uh, we're going to have two additional fields that are non-database fields for fields that change every time, like a part number and uh, another part number, PO number and a lot number. So what we'll do is we'll now name all the fields. We're going to tell it first how many fields we're going to use. So if you don't want to use five and you want to use two, you'd say two, and it won't ask you for information for the other fields if they're not asked for. Okay, so we're going to set it up. And spec number one is how many database fields. So it defaults to four, which is four in addition to the one, which is the part number. So that will be a total of five. We also have to change spec number five, which is how many variable fields there are. And we're gonna say two, which was the default. Now what we're gonna do is name the fields. So again, and that's spec number two. Okay, so first field name is, well, the first field actually is the part number, which we, we don't have any control over, or we set it up that way. Field two will be your first database field, and that's going to be a description. So we're going to say description. That's the first one, and you'll see it'll appear up here. And the second one will be maybe a customer part number. number. Uh, the next one will be maybe a material. So M-A-T. And the fifth one, let's say it's color. So those are the field requirements for the database. Now we're going to give the uh, field names for the variable field. So we'll say lot, number, and what else did I say? PO number. Okay. Again, this is something you do once. If you unplug the scale, plug it back in, it'll stay there. What we're going to do now is we're going to start counting our first item. And we're going to push the F1 key to say count with label. It asks me for a part number. So we'll say A, B, C, 1, 2, 3, 4. What it's going to do when I hit the enter key, it's going to say it's not in the database. And now it's going to ask me for a description. Okay, so we're going to say these are small clips. S-M-A-L-L-C-L-I-P-S, -L -L small clips. It appears up here. This is data from a previous wing. Uh, customer part number, it is going to be 589, whatever it is. The material is, let's say it's plastic. The color, uh, for this part number, it's a mixed bag of paper clips. 
So A, B, C, one, two, three, four is a mixed set of paper clips. So M, I, X, E, B. And the lot number for this mixed set of paper clips is nine, eight, seven, four, five, six. The PO number is a G, H, one, two, three, four, five, six. The format. What format is going to be married to this part number of mixed paper clips? And we'll say it's 999. Okay. Now we're going to enter a sample. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we'll tell it there's nine there. All right. Enter. It says sampling. There's nine pieces there. It now ask me, do I want to save this information in the database? If I say yes, it'll save it permanently in the database until you delete it. A loss of power or unplugging the unit will not lose uh, the information. So I'm going to say yes. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we got a whole bunch of these and the quantity exceeds the capacity of this scale. This is a one pound scale. So let's say we had a whole bunch of them and we wanted to count them. We're going to go to scale two. Well, it's already zeroed out, but we would push the button and zero out whatever container we wanted to use on the scale. We're going to now dump on the cover. Okay. We got a little clipper guy in there. Okay. So, you know, have an order. Let's say the order was for 145 units. Okay. We're going to push the print button and we'll get our first label. This label contains all the information about that part. The part number, the description, the customer's part number, the material, the color, the lot number, the uh, PO number, the unit weight or average weight per thousand, the net tear and gross weight, the quantity, the serial number, which is an incrementing number, and the date and time. Okay. What we're going to do is, if you have multiple boxes that you needed to weigh, we're going to use the accumulator. And you'll notice here it says accumulator on. You push this button here underneath it, or you could have pushed F4 on the keyboard. I could have done that too. Now we put our first box on and we push F10 to print the first label. I printed the first label. Now if you had another batch, however many, okay, this is a smaller box. And if you had this set up working with a computer system, it would be sending it to the database each and every time. Another box, F10. And it's telling you up here how many boxes we've done so far. So F3, let's do one more. Okay. So now we've done four boxes. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn the accumulator off by pushing the accumulator off button or on this scale here on the keyboard. And what you get here is you'll notice that there's each one of the boxes. There's a 195, 162, 195, 200. And that comes to a total of 752 pieces. There was four transactions, the total net and total gross. Okay. So you see, and then you got your date and time and all the other information. This could be your skid label, okay? And we could title it that too if you wanted to, all right? Uh, hope to hear from you. If you have any questions, please call us at 203-792-2854. Again, our telephone number is 203-792-2854. We appreciate your time and hope...